Occupancy Statistics Report. The Occupancy Statistics Report allows you to analyze your hotel's performance over a period of time in regards to occupancy and revenue. The report displays all data on a per unit type basis so you can see which unit types are maximizing revenue and which are not. It also displays totals for all unit types combined and data from exactly one year prior so you compare year to year. Any combination of days can be selected for this report, but the exact times cannot be modified because the report runs default from 12 a.m. to 12 a.m. each day. All of the following information is shown per unit type and as totals for the entire property. Total units available, number of off-market units, number of occupied units, Occupancy percentage of available rooms, occupancy percentage of total units, ADR or average daily rate, REVPAR or revenue per available room, and total revenue. Let's talk about each one of these in more detail. Total units available. Total units available are calculated based on how many units in a unit type you have times the number of days you run the report for. For example, if I have five units in a unit type and I'm running the report for three days, my total units available would be 15, five unit types times three days. Off-market units. The off-market units of total active units. This is the number of off-market rooms you have. Off-market units are the units that aren't available for rent on the booking tour tool or on the main open book grid due to maintenance. Occupied units. Number of occupied units is calculated based on the number of rooms with reservations and their length of stay during the time frame being looked at. For example, if I have five units in a unit type and I'm running the report for three days with five reservations, three reservations for one night, one reservation for two nights, and one reservation for three nights. The number of occupied units would be eight, one plus one plus one plus two plus three. Remember that the number of days for each reservation depends on the time frame the report is run for. For example, if the reservation starts today and is for three nights, and I run the report for today only, the room is only occupied once during that time period. Occupancy percentage of available units. The occupancy percentage of total units shows the percentage of how many rooms are occupied compared to how many are available. This is calculated by dividing the number of occupied units by the number of total rooms after maintenance rooms are subtracted out. The equation is occupied units divided by total rooms minus maintenance rooms. Occupancy percentage of total units. The occupancy percentage of total units is calculated based on all of the units or the total units rather just than just the available units. The occupancy percentage of total units is calculated by dividing the number of occupied units by the number of total rooms after maintenance rooms are subtracted out. The equation is occupied units divided by total rooms minus maintenance rooms. ADR. ADR stands for average daily rate. This is calculated by averaging the room charges for all days of all reservations during the time frame of the occupancy statistics report. For example, if I run the report for three days, and in those three days I have five reservations, two reservations for one night at $100 each, one reservation for one night at $150, one reservation for two nights at $150 and $100 respectively, and one reservation for three nights at $250 and $100 respectively, the ADR would be an average of all of those rates. In the example, after all the room charges mentioned are average, the ADR would calculate to be $118.75. REVPAR REVPAR stands for the Revenue Per Available Room. 
It is calculated by dividing the revenue by the total units for the number of nights and the time period the report is run for. The rev par is most commonly compared to the same time frame of a previous year or of another hotel's performance to determine your standing. Total revenue. Total revenue is the last column which displays all room revenue over the time period the occupant statistics report is run for. Room revenue includes room charges before tax and cancellation fees. Point of sale items or other charges added to an invoice are not included in the total revenue on the occupancy statistics report since the occupancy statistics report records room revenue and data only. After analyzing your occupancy statistics report, you should have a good understanding of where your property stands financially and which numbers you should be working on to improve. For your convenience, a small summary of the Occupancy Statistics Report displays at the bottom of two frequently used management reports, Daily Revenue Summary and Revenue Reconciliation. The full Occupancy Report and a small summary of Occupancy Statistics will only match each other if you run them both for the business day, not custom times, and for the exact time period. Otherwise, they're pulling in data from different times of the day.